Aloha, I'm Wendy Lowe, and today we are taking your health back, streaming live from our studios of ThinkTech Hawaii in downtown Honolulu and from my home office in Makiki. Today, I'd love to introduce you to Kai Kalawal as she teaches us how to cook healthy with organic spices. Yum, yum. Flavor without labor is what she says, and doesn't that sound like a plan for us all? Welcome, Kai. Aloha. Hi, Wendy. I'm so Aloha. happy to be here. Yeah, I just found out that we're neighbors. We're in the same Makiki neighborhood. So like our connection should be really good because we're right next to each other, right? Yes, absolutely. Right. So Kai, let's get started. Please share with us, where does your passion and your inspiration for healthy cooking come from? It came from my mother. And every day she would cook healthy, beautiful Filipino food mostly and uh, from scratch and I just I learned from that and I didn't want to I wanted to teach people to do the same and that's what made me start my uh my spice company Kailani Spices. Uh, and so now your mom you're Filipino are you 100% Filipino? No I'm uh I'm a poi dog. <laughs> oh okay because I didn't even know you were Filipino so when I heard that your mom you, you came from the Philippines. I was like, wow, that's amazing. Yes, I was born there and came to America and only spoke Tagalog. Wow. Yeah. And so yeah. back home, your mom would cook healthy Filipino food or just healthy food? Uh, just healthy food, but mostly Filipino food. And, uh, and then from that, I learned American cooking. And uh, I don't even eat fast food. That's how I feel about healthy cooking and spices and cooking fresh and especially in hawaii with all the wonderful fresh uh produce right my love, it's my uh how you say my motto as well but we're on the same boat that's why we get along when i first met you a few years ago yeah. wow so you know like many of us here in hawaii you went to work at the hotels when you're of age besides work what else did you find there at the hyatt <laughs> my handsome, wonderful husband. <laughs> his, his friend kept uh, telling him about this single girl. She just broke up with her boyfriend. His name was Don as well. <laughs> and so, yeah, so that's, we met there. Wow. I have the same story, but we won't go into that right now. <laughs> so, but I go, that's why we get along so well. And you know, the, the hotel husband thing, same thing. But anyway, so I know that you have two grandchildren. Please brag about them a little bit with us. Oh, my goodness. My first one, he's, uh, his name is Cavella. Uh, I said he was conceived here and born in New Zealand. His mom moved to New Zealand. And all of them, they're actually my husband's three daughters. He has three daughters. And uh, of course, I, I've been with them since uh, they were young. So they're, I feel they're my daughters as well oh. and, and Cavella he's part Samoan and so they moved to New Zealand and then uh, the middle daughter we have a uh, she's 16 amazing talented both of them plays the piano writes music uh, and they're coming in July just can't wait yeah uh, well yeah. so they were born and raised in New Zealand yes they're there now and <laughs> um, but like I said, his daughters were all born here, but they found New Zealand and fell in love and they decided to stay, except one, the youngest one is back here. Yeah. And have She's you been to New Zealand? Oh, many times uh, wow. since they, yeah. And yes. you know, I'm sure the people of New Zealand, they eat healthy as well, right? Oh, beautiful produce, beautiful uh, meat. But it's funny, when I first went there, the food was terrible. They had great <laughs> I know they, they they adapted the British type of cooking, mm. and now the the food is fantastic. Now. Oh wow! So you go there and you help them out and help them and and um take the best of what they have and you bring it back to Hawaii, right? Yes, and the uh, middle daughter has a farm, so it's organic too. She has a um, she eats organic vegetables from her garden and uh, fresh eggs and. Yes, just really, oh. really living off the land. What a blessing. That's my dream is to go to New Zealand. As soon as things open up and get happening again, I'm 
I want to venture to New Zealand, spend a few months out there and just enjoy the good air and the good quality of life that they have there. So That's you're beautiful. blessed. Yeah, yes. I'll let you know. I'll let you know you hooked yeah, me up. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, you know, when I first met you many, many years ago, I, I know that um, you were doing demos and I was promoting my chocolate factory back then. But what were you promoting and just the passion that you were promoting it with? It was incredible. What were you doing back then? Oh, I started um, my spice, um, my spice rub company. Here's one bottle. It's called Hawaiian Spice and Kailani Spices. And so what, what, what it was, I really wanted to help people cook again. And spices are all medicinal mm -hmm. and delicious at the same time. That's why I say flavor it out the labor. And yeah. um, so I, I started at KCC Farmer's Market. And I was making this wonderful curry fried rice with cranberries. Here's a picture of it on the cover. Uh -huh. And that's my cook. Well, we'll talk about that later. And um, and it really went fantastic. Uh, uh -huh. People love the spices. Now I've come up with seven blends. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, because well, I know I know what I like best is it's the, the logo that you said flavor without labor. And so I know that um, when I see you, you make it look so easy. And so for the the general public, the busy mom coming home. You know, she can either prep this up in the beginning or come home and just put it all together. And that's basically what we all need is all your choices with flavor and less labor. So you've come up with a winner. I know that. <laughs> Thank you. And so um, I know that we have a picture of one of your favorite dishes. And if you would just tell us about it a little bit. I just want, here's an example of a beautiful vegetarian dish. Of course, all our spices are good on everything. And this is couscous with roasted vegetables. So easy. You, we use the spices, um, the curry and the Hawaiian, tossed it with the vegetable and roasted it, and then mixed the quinoa uh, with, the, um, uh, with the curry spice. And just wanted to show how much flavor there is and uh, quick and easy, as you said. And that was my goal. So people, were so busy they were telling me my friends they were too busy to cook and i said oh i'm gonna come up with a rub and make it easy you just rub it uh bake or grill or uh toss it into your food or salad and make cooking easy and delicious at the same time well you know um as a business owner there are so many challenges especially now after the last two years and finding good workers and uh, employees is very difficult. So it's, it's the one of actually one of the biggest challenges I think for all business owners. So I know that you have a few, uh, a couple of very loyal workers. Just give them a shout out at this time. Well, uh, Chrissy, who's been with me since she was 18, she does all my social media. Now she's the mother of two. And her wonderful mother also that's um, on the left in the picture there. And um, she's off and on working with me as well. She's down the street. And Brian, who's my um, assistant manager, I call him my spice guy. <laughs> he does everything for the company. Wow. He used to deliver and, uh, and, and, you know, look over the stores. But now he makes all the spices. And now I deliver. And, take care of <laughs> you know, and that seems like more of a, a fit because even like when I ran my factory, I love delivery because then I could get the feedback directly from the buyer and then the customers that are buying at that moment. And, you know, you're all about that, right? Talking story, improving, see what the needs are and fulfilling it. And so how, how did you manage like in the last two years with COVID? Did that affect your business at all? Um, yes and no. Yes. Be, um, uh, no, because a lot of people started, you know, they had to cook at home, right? Mm -hmm. And because uh, the restaurants were closed. So, yes, our, our sales were up a bit because people knew it's healthy and easy to use and they were cooking. So it was a great timing for us. We didn't, we barely slowed down, which was, you know, which I was grateful for. Wow. So the COVID had some pluses and as well as minuses. 
Wow. I know that every time I go into down to earth or I see that one selection is yellow because it's the cumin and the curry, but I know that it's yours. Is that, is, is it yours at the down to earth in the buffet line? Yes. Yes. Yeah. They, they actually make many, many dishes. They're one of our biggest uh, customers. We do uh, down to earth use, uh, um, Oh my, so many, so many dishes with our different uh, spices. That's yes. a blessing. That's a big blessing to have a great customer. And I know that, um, but I like to tell people to go to Down to Earth because they kind of do the homework for us. So I don't have to look at the labels so much. So I know that when I go in there, I know that the contents will not contain MSG and it has all the right ingredients. So I tell people, you know, that's good. They take all the hassle out of shopping, like how you, you took the house out of cooking, you favor with less labor or no labor. So, you know, we're all <laughs> busy and we're all looking for that easy, quick way to get a great, healthy meal. So important. So important. So, you yeah. know, you're really wise and you're really blessed that, that your friend Karina has that young girl or younger daughter, Christy, who's helping you with the social media. I mean, that's half our battle. I mean, for myself, that's why I, I'm blessed that I got out of the business because I didn't have a young person like that focusing on social media and that's so important. So what does she do? Does she do all your websites and posting for you? Um, she does some of the posting. I also got another girl because she's got, gotten busy and then uh, business uh, things that I, I don't have time for that I get emails. So she checked all that and uh, yeah. And then the trip, that picture with her, was at the uh, Hawaii uh, uh, tourist trade show uh, about a month ago. Oh. And yes, and we, we did wonderful. Uh, Chef Alan Wong came by and said hi and said he was proud of me. Oh, that was uh, very good. When I, I see just, you um, behind that demo table, I, I keep thinking you remind me of Emerald because I don't know, you, you kept saying a, the same thing. I mean, I was sat by your side for the whole trade show so I could, have, I could have done your show with you or for you because like how everyone went bam, bam right and, and you could hear you promote what you were doing but it was the passion that drove people to your table and then of course the smells and then um they tasted it and then I don't want to say they were clogged but they were pretty much addicted to the flavor with no labor so touche for you you hit it on the nail especially in these times when more and more people need to turn back to healthy and eating healthy is so important that you can just put something on it and it tastes good off the bat. That's great. That's what we're all looking for. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. But you know, Kai, so ever since I've known you, you have always had a passion for cooking. As I said, you were the fam lady to me. So I know okay. that you also love to teach and share this yeah. message of health with Kiki's. So tell us how, how do you go about doing this with the, the Kiki of Hawaii? Well, um, there's, um, I don't, have you heard of the Papua Hawaii Foundation? It started mm -hmm. by Jack Johnson and his mm -hmm. wife. And they're passionate about what my passion is, teaching keikis about the land, how to take care of the land, and to grow vegetables, and, um, and they love it. I just did one for the Kahala School. Um, and the kids are so eager. And when they learn how to cook their own vegetables, they eat it. And exactly. they, yeah, because they see, they, they see how it takes to plant it, to harvest it. And then when they cook it and they just, and they all, you know, they're all so into it. And I just love children. I think you, you need to start off with teaching the keikis. Mm -hmm. And when they grow up, they're going to be healthier and they're going to eat healthier. And, you know, I tell them it's okay once in a while to eat fast food, but not hardly. Don't, you know, don't do it often. Just eat more. Right. The good. So, so Kai, what we promote with, uh, with all of us, uh, Keiki and adults, is like the 80-20 rule. You eat 80% healthy and 20% of the time you can be naughty and you can have that. <laughs> that extra bag of chips or, you know, something, but yeah. it's 80, 20 rule. As long as your majority of your intake is healthy, your body will re be rewarded by good overall performance and good health. So yeah. you're spot on with that. And like you said, when they grow it, 
they understand the value, they'll eat it, but making it taste good is the other value of not just growing it and just eating lettuce or bok choy, but if you have the right spices to add to it to make it a more palatable, that, yeah. that's the other half for the kids. They can grow it, they can cook it, they'll love it, and then you're creating more Alan Wongs. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And they're all, and the last class, at least about five of the children wanted to be chefs and they, they were just so happy. We gave, uh, we gave uh, the spices as, uh, as a uh, uh, gift. As wow. Present. What a nice gift. Go home with that. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they loved it. Well, I know that you also have another Wendy in your life. Um, you're, you're one of your dear friends, yes. her name is Wendy as well. You know, I say, it, it takes a great person to have great friends. And I know every time I see you, you're, you have great friends around you. So Wendy is a dear friend. So tell us, um, how does she get involved with all your projects? Um, Wendy has been so supportive of, of me since I started. Um, and she helps me with things that I don't understand you know, like contracts, a lot of them, and uh, just being there and being, uh, you know, to listen when I may be sad about something or even when I'm happy about something. Mm -hmm. And we've been friends about 40 years. And um, yes, she was at my book, my, um, I had a cookbook, I had lunch a cookbook mm -hmm. about 10 years ago. And she was there. Uh, you I think you had a photo of her. Uh -huh. And this is Dish too, I made for the cakeies, and they all love it. The curry fried rice with cranberries. Uh, yes, and that's what I do in all my demos. When you see me, that's mm -hmm. what brings people in. The smell, the smell, and then you know what? Not only the smell, but when you draw them in with the smell and they see it, it's pretty because you got that golden color of rice, mm -hmm. and then you right. got the red cranberries. And I think I've even seen it on your card. You have fresh mango in there too. Yes, we won. Uh, we won this dish at the Moana Surf Rider uh, Mango Festival about oh. I don't know seventy years ago wow. with mango. So now that oh. it's mango season, folks, you can add mango to your curry fried rice with cranberries. Wow, that's that's, that's amazing, and it makes it makes it even more wet and sweet, and more popping of flavors. So you yes. got it, and then congratulations on the award of winning at the Mango Festival. That's a, another feat for you. That's yeah. great. Thank wow. you. We won it twice. <laughs> <laughs> the second time with a chicken curry, uh, chicken curry salad with mango. Mm -hmm. Oh, brilliant, brilliant! Yeah. And you know, I've, I've grown to love chicken salad, uh, curried. So you oh, gotta yeah, make me some right. sometime, and I'll I'll, I'll yeah. see how it pairs up. Okay. I'll be the judge. <laughs> so, you know, our passions for saving the keiki by teaching them to eat healthy and just keeping um, our, just keeping them healthy and on, on track, teaching them how to cook healthy is always the right direction. You know it. I know it. So you better keep on going. Don't stop. Every time a school comes your way, please just continue to say, I'll do it. I'll be there. But what is your favorite part about going to the schools with all these keikis? Just, well, my favorite part is showing them something that I know that is important for them, that, that to teach them about loving the land and planting and uh, eating healthy. And I see their faces, they're so eager. And I always say to chefs, if you cook good food, the, the children would love it. Because I would do demos and, and they say, oh, my child won't eat that. And you know what, Wendy? <laughs> they eat it and, and the reason why they eat it because it tastes good they feel yeah. the healthiness and the flavor of the healthy cooking so yes and that's what i i just love them they're so eager to learn and i right. want to teach them i just love children yeah well you know like like you were just saying some children they just don't want to eat vegetables and um, they just have nothing to do with it. Um, I, I was never like that. Um, how would you, I mean, just get them to think out of the box, you know, the parents? I mean, yes, you have the great flavors of your seasoning, but what if the kid didn't like curry? Okay, just let's say. And um, what, how, would, how else would you encourage parents to get their kids to eat healthy? 
Um, well, I always tell even the children, I said, try it first mm -hmm. before you say no. And what I learned too, when let's say there'll be one child in class that doesn't want to try it, I this happened many times, and all the kids love try it and love it like a smoothie. We made a smoothie, and the kid didn't, and it was a green smoothie. And since all the kids were loving it and going, mm, some were asking for a second, mm -hmm. she, she decided, okay, well, she was like missing out. <laughs> <laughs> and um, <Your> pressure. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I tell parents, let your child eat it first. And then if they really don't like it, then you don't have to force them. Right. But think they won't like it. They're the ones that put it in their children's head. Mm -hmm. Just cook, it. just cook it and cook yep. a good meal, not packaged, not yep. fast food, but mm -hmm. from scratch and using our spices. I'm telling you, it just gives it flavor and the kids will love it. I, it's happened to me all the time. Right. So, you know, and you're exact, uh, you hit it on the nail because a lot of the times the kid is looking at the parent's face when the kid, the parent doesn't like take like a kale smoothie or kale and the parents um you give the parent a kale smoothie and they're like oh no thank you so then the kid thinks it must be bad i don't like it either they didn't even try it right yeah but the neatest part is you you mask it with fruit and kale and all the great things in there right and then you know, yeah. yeah then the kid likes it and then like really so then yeah. we have to train the parents as well yeah to eat healthy so that their cake can eat healthy and they got a better start and a chance of survival in this in this fast food world. Exactly, because as you know, there's, health insurance is so expensive. So if we stay healthy, and also we got to throw in, in the exercise. I exercise as well yes. as eat spices every day. Yes. And I cook, I cook all the time. I have a husband who loves to eat and stay home. so. And I love to entertain and cook dinner for my friends and family. And I do all kinds of themed dinners. And uh, yes, so if we stay the course, eat right, exercise, we don't need to worry about health insurance and being unhealthy as we get older. We don't have to get older and be unhealthy. And, and the other part too, ladies out there, when you eat healthy, you are what you eat. And so I truly <laughs> believe that beauty is skin deep, meaning yeah. that the better quality of food that you put into your body, that means the better quality that you'll see on your face. And so yeah. that it doesn't matter how expensive the makeup you use, but if you're doing the right things internally, it yeah. truly, truly makes a difference. And yeah. I can attest to that. And so can Kai and look at how beautiful and radiant she looks because of her choice of diet. And so... Uh, I'm just I'm just so excited that last Friday I walked into Down to Earth and there you were in Kaka'ako. So I saw you standing behind the, the table, the demo table, doing exactly what you did when I first met you. So I said, hey girl, I see all your healthy list of food behind you. I see everything that you're doing and it's years later um, that you're still doing it. Um, I said, hey, would you come on and just share with the people how to eat healthy, to manage a healthy lifestyle, have flavor without labor, because don't we all want it simple, right? And so Absolutely. when you said, yeah, I'd love to, and we can call it, when you eat healthy, you will be healthy. I'm like, yeah, and then we were getting all excited because we were on crack or something, but we were just high on quality of good quality yeah. of food. So yeah. let the spices be your medicine in your kitchen, right? That's my, that's my motto. Yes, that's and boy. You truly walk the talk because you use all those spices. I mean, not just one or two, but I can I can taste all the aromatic flavors in your spices. And I just appreciate you for making that because I did have a girl from Sri Lanka come to me and she took me to the Indian uh, spice store. OMG, we had to buy like about 20 different bags of uh, spices to make one rice dish. I'm like, that was before <laughs> you. And so I know the cost and the value of what you're doing. Yeah. We don't have to buy all those bags of spices because it's yeah. all in one bag that you got. So exactly. we appreciate you, Kai. Oh, Truly awesome. appreciate you. <laughs> so oh, but do you have anything you want to end? Uh, because we've run out of time for today. So is there anything you wanted to say real quick? Uh, just eat healthy, be healthy. 
and think positive and enjoy what God has given us. Amen. So we just want to say mahalo to Kai of Kayulani Spices for sharing her passion with Hawaii and the world and for making life so much easier for all of us. So we'll be back in two weeks with taking care, uh, taking your health back with Wendy Lowe. Mahalo Kai, mahalo Think Tech Hawaii. We'll see you in two weeks. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.